This is multiple slip diffraction with Callie and Steven. Our lab project number is 106, and our TA is Michaela May for our final lab project. The purpose of this project was to show the progression from a three-slit aperture to a nine-slit aperture, and eventually see how a grating is created from adding more and more slits together. We expect that once we detect a nine-slit aperture that it'll look very similar to a diffraction grating, if not exactly the same. Images of diffraction patterns were taken in the Fraunhofer region, which is the pattern viewed at a long distance from the diffracting object and also in the focal plane of an imaging lens. Here is the diffraction bend setup, which begins with the source here. There's a collimating lens. And then the next aperture it hits is the slit, which is variable. It goes through this imaging lens, and then a final imaging lens into a 2F tube to the camera, which reports the image to this computer. As you can see here, these are the images that we took of the different slit apertures of the three slit aperture, five slit, seven slit, nine slit, and the diffraction grating. Intensity peaks are formed when the optical path difference between different slits centers at around a value of lambda over two. As you add more slits, the region where you get a lambda over two overlap decreases, which leads to narrower peaks. But now that as more light is getting through, you can see that the amplitude of a peak will increase. So here you can see plots of the various intensity patterns as we add slits. You can see that with three slits, we have wide peaks with fewer secondary diffraction peaks between them, but relatively low intensity. And as we go up in slit count, you can see that the intensity of each peak increases, but the width of it decreases until we get to that of a grating, which has an extremely intense peak with very few sub-peaks in between. The images were recorded to grayscale and the intensities were calculated using MATLAB. As we add more and more slits, it approaches that of a grating. This was seen in the intensity graphs as well as in the images of the slit patterns. Some potential areas of error could have involved an oversaturated source or the fact that our magnet kept sliding off and even ambient light. So this concludes our video series of the semester. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice break.